All right, good morning. God bless you. Good evening, whatever time you may be viewing this tale of cash. All right, let me go right to what? This is said the servant of Jesus Christ. I'm a witness, a witness unto Jesus. Jesus said, you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost will come upon you. And you shall be witnesses unto me. Thank God I'm a witness. Now you cannot be a witness. You can't be a witness unto Jesus and telling Jesus he blasphemed. How can you be a witness for Jesus, preacher? Such a guy that cried apostolic faith, Baptist, Methodist, whatever. How can you be a witness for Jesus? And at the same time, you tell Jesus that he blasphemed. You call Jesus a blasphemer. Yeah, you do that. You, uh, yeah, by God, you do it. Hallelujah. You do it. You call Jesus a blasphemer. Happy birthday, Sister Jacqueline Aldrich. Boy, happy birthday to you. All right. Now, you call Jesus a blasphemer. You can't be no witness and call it Jesus a blasphemer. How is that possible? How is it possible for you to be a witness and call Jesus a blasphemer? Or say Jesus blasphemed. Now, above this post or below this post, I did another post on being a witness unto Jesus. Are you a witness unto Jesus? But this jumped out here. You cannot be a witness unto Jesus, my God. Jesus said, you can shall be witnesses unto me. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Jesus said, and when the confidence is called, he shall not testify himself, but he shall testify of me. Yeah. Is that the 17th chapter? Hallelujah. Is that the 17th chapter? While I'm looking at the 17th chapter, get, to, get John 17. And this is eternal life, that they may know thee, the only true God, And Jesus Christ, whom thou had sent. Let me go to Hallelujah. Here we go. John 15, 26. Thank God I'm a witness. But when the comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of truth, which proceeded from the Father, he shall testify of me. And ye also shall bear witness because ye have been with me from the beginning. The Holy Ghost will testify of Jesus whom the Father sent. Some of you say you have the Holy Ghost. Alright, let, let's go back here. John 10. How be a witness for Jesus and say Jesus is a blasphemer. You call Jesus a blasphemer. John 10 
at 36. This is Jesus talking. Say ye of him. You ain't no witness for Jesus saying Jesus is a blasphemer. Say ye of him. Whom the Father have sanctified. You say Jesus is the Father. Come on. And sent into the world. The Father sent the Son into the world. Sent Jesus into the world. The Father did tap part of himself off. That's hell bound denomination theology. The Father did tap part of himself off. You know he teach that. Say ye of him who the Father has sanctified and sent into the world. Thou blaspheming? You saying Jesus blasphemed. Because I said I am the Son of God. John 10 36. You can't be a witness for Jesus and call it Jesus a blasphemer. Jesus is the Son of God. But you say you blaspheme because you say you Son of God, Jesus. You blaspheme. I like to thank you doing repair of your sins, not preaching right. And God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for very now look on our post. We did another post dealing with witnessing. But the Holy Ghost will have me to, to, to isolate this and put this out there to expose you and bring knowledge to you that fear God. Bring knowledge to you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Excuse me. You that fear God, how you going to call Jesus a blasphemer? Because Jesus say he's the son of God. You say he's not the son of God. You call it Jesus a blasphemer. That's enough of that. The thing with you to do is repent before it ever lasts too late, you hypocrite. You fall prophet. Repent before it's too late. Thank you for hearing.